toilet uh, comes with uh, one of those soft closed lids and all of a sudden we started getting this uh, liquid all around the lid and now the lid just falls down so it's lost its uh, ability to soft close. <music> Welcome to Tigner Adventures. My name's David, and uh, as you can tell from our intro, we have a little bit of a problem with our toilet seat. Now, we replaced uh, our toilet uh, back in uh, April, uh, about the 1st of April. Um, so, it's just, <laughs> it's only been, let's see, it's now July. So, I'm really kind of surprised that this uh, toilet seat didn't last a little bit longer but um, maybe we're just using it too much. <laughs> so, but you can see that video, if you look right here, you can see the video I did on installing that toilet. And, uh, you know, we kind of had to retrofit it to our bathroom. It's a really nice toilet. We really like the toilet and we really like the height of it. So anyway, we're gonna replace the toilet seat today and we're gonna show you how easy it is. Um, I picked this one up on Amazon. The link is down in our description below. And uh, this is just a direct replacement, and it's about 60 bucks. I actually went over to, uh, after I looked at that, I thought, man, that's a lot of money. So then I went to Lowe's, and holy cow, uh, you know, these toilet seats, they range from like about $30 to over $100 for a soft clothes uh, toilet seat. So, so anyway, and the difference with this one is, this one has actually got the, all the pieces that fit um, on our toilet. It's really pretty easy to uh, install. And so I'm just gonna show you how to do this. I kind of wanted to address, um, you know, some people have kind of commented um, on, you know, when you get an older rig, you have to do a lot of maintenance on it. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I've owned houses. We built our own house. We had to do a lot of maintenance on our sticks and bricks. So to me, the maintenance that we're doing on our motorhome isn't any different than uh, doing, you know, maintenance on any sticks and bricks type things. Things go bad, you know, things quit or whatever. It doesn't matter, you know, you hear the idea that they aren't meant to live in full time. Yeah, that's a bunch of crap. No, I, I mean, if you take care of something, you know, you know, an apartment's not meant to live in full time if you don't take care of it. My son's apartment, uh, he lives, he pays good money. Um, and I think, let's see, in the last month, I think he was telling me in the last month or something, they had to replace his water heater like uh, three times now. So, you know, things just happen. And, you know, the quality of some of the items aren't quite as good as they used to be. So things just go wrong. So anyway, we're going to get into this and show you how easy it is to replace uh, this piece of, uh, you know, toilet seat. Anyway, this piece of the job, this is pretty easy, but hey, we're back in the bathroom again. All right. So first thing we're going to do is open up this one, just kind of uh, see what all the different parts are in it. Um, they've got boxed up pretty nice. This is from the medic, so it is a uh, direct replacement compared to if I had bought it at Lowe's. This is our little uh, back cap that will go on there, cover everything up. And also, um, we've taken all that out. We don't want to forget our little caps. So they're just on the bottom of the cardboard right here. So our new caps. So when it comes to a toilet seat, it looks exactly like the ones that you get um, at Lowe's or any home. Um, repair place so and these go out in the house we had to replace them a few times we have uh, moved over to the soft close lid because especially when you're in an rv it's nice that when you're done at night you know and we're only like three feet from the bed right there so so if we go to close the lid at night um, and aren't paying attention then the lid clangs down and the other person that's uh, sleeping there about goes through the roof. So uh, with the soft close, we don't have to worry about it. It just slowly, quietly closes and no big deal. So anyway, so that's what it's all about. We're gonna go ahead and put this in. It's just two uh, screws that we have to actually take out. So as you can see, I've got my toilet right here. We've got to take this off. And right here on the back is a couple little um, covers 
that kind of snap down over the bolts that we're going to actually undo. So we're just going to use a just a flat edge part of a screwdriver and you just take that and just pop those little caps off because they're just little caps. So anyway, and then you can see here that we've got these um, screws that go in here. So if we just use our flat blade screwdriver and we just undo those and if we kind of reach underneath it, we can kind of hold the, the nut that's on the other end of this. And that just comes right out of there. So one done. And you can see that no matter how good you try to clean things, <laughs> there's always stuff that uh, just doesn't get cleaned very well. So anyway, that's the end of that. And we'll go ahead and take the toilet off. Toilet seat's off right here. It's all done. And yep, it's a little, it's a little dirty here. Some of that is that uh, oily stuff that uh, I showed at the beginning of the video. Uh, it kind of um, drained all over and we kind of wiped that off, but you can't get into all the cracks and everything. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I always use, um, you know, some kind of Clorox wipes or whatever. And we're going to go ahead and just clean this stuff off and get it all cleaned up. So that's one step. I mean, you always want to clean this stuff up and no matter how good you're at cleaning, I can guarantee you, <laughs> you got dirty spots in the house. <laughs> so now I want to point out this little uh, thing that's back here. This is the valve. And this valve actually sticks up a little bit um, or sticks out a little bit more. In fact, let me see if I can pull this out of here because all it is is it just sticks in there. So this is the valve that... Uh, when you push on the pedal, the water comes out this valve right here, out this hole, and then sprays around these uh, portions of the uh, toilet. This particular one, if you notice, has a little lump here. Um, I actually swapped this out. Uh, this is not the original one. This is from my old toilet. And my old toilet had, an ex had to have an extension piece on there. And these are, um, I'll, put one in our description you can look at them and everything but they you know they they cost 50 60 dollars by themselves and this um and what i wanted is the one that came with the toilet did not have this sprayer on it and we love this sprayer so i just took this piece of out and just swapped it um and and still keep on using it because it's got this sprayer on there and, and that sprayer really comes in handy and on the back of this toilet all it is is just a big rubber um, ring and the, this just kind of pushes right in there and I push it up as far as I can and that's about all there is to it so okay trying to prolong this video out I see <laughs> so anyway our uh, new toilet lid right here all nice and clean wow it looks brand new just set that on there all we're gonna do is just bend these things down oh, this is where the uh, I gotta get them down there got a lot of pressure on there because it's the soft clothes so they have these um, little pieces right here that kind of go into that hole a little bit so we're just going to kind of stick that right down in there get that spaced in the hole and it does have give so you can turn this back and forth like this or whatever so when you get it on here where you want it before you get it too tight you want to kind of uh, square it up with the toilet itself so all right, so now all we have to do is um, take our new backstop, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and put that on there. It makes it look nice and pretty because, you know, on a normal toilet in a, in a sticks and bricks, if you wanna call that normal, uh, they have the tank that sits on here. And that's why you don't see, you know, you see the tank. So on this one, it's nice because it's, you know, just gives it kind of a little closure piece right there now this is the old one so i could have you know bought one at lowe's you know if you can't get one ordered in or whatever uh, i thought that the one on amazon was um you know reasonable priced and it was directly for domatic so that's why i bought it and it came with this piece but if you'd buy a different one um then you could always just reuse this one piece from the old one so it's not like you know, you're going to be in a lot of trouble if you don't buy Domatic. 
All right, just so you know. Um, and then the uh, these are our new screws. And to be honest with you, there's no difference between these and the old screws. So, but it's nice that they send them along. So anyway, I'm just gonna put those down through the hole and um, and then we'll put these, these are the nuts that are gonna go underneath. And remember, we're gonna use our flathead screwdriver here to uh, turn this and we'll just put that under there and let it catch on there and then we'll be able to just tighten that up. So, so we'll just go ahead and do that. So you can see that this is pretty simple little job to do. It doesn't take a lot of time, pretty easy. And now I'm off kilter here a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of push this in where I actually want it. Um, Cause it does have give going this way and this way. And so it allows it to kind of turn different ways and everything. So that's fitting on there really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten these up nice and snug. Again, you know, I guess if you get over zealous and you break one of these, then you can always use the old one. So, um, but, uh, and I guess over time, you know, if they sit here for long enough, in this case, it's only been a year. So that's not a lot of time for that to kind of dry out or whatever, you know, get brittle. And so that's probably why they send you some other ones in case it's been sitting around. Uh, those people that are just part-timers and they don't use it very often, they may get quite a few years out of there uh, compared to living in the unit full time. So, all right. And then the last thing we wanna do is we want to put our little covers on. All right. So now we're just gonna snap these on. They just snap in place right here. And voila, we have a toilet, so let's try it out. Okay, very soft clothes. It's gonna go down there slowly. Lift the whole thing up there and put it down. You can see that it doesn't do that banging that it did before. And it's really simple, easy fix, so that's really nice. So this will be, this will be handy and eventually it does get where they go down a little bit more once you work it a few times, it'll go down a little bit faster. But it's that clanking that we don't really like, especially in the middle of the night. Okay, that is probably the shortest maintenance video that I have ever made. So hopefully this is helpful to you. It is a really simple job to do, uh, but sometimes it's a little overwhelming when you're looking at it to understand exactly how you know things work and everything. And so, but don't, don't worry about that, it's really pretty easy. And hey, the worst thing you're gonna do is mess it up when you take it all out. But at least you see how it all came out. And the new one has everything to put everything back in. So even if you were to break those nuts off or whatever, you know, uh, whatever you did, it doesn't matter because the new one has everything and it's so much easier just to set it back down and then put it in and you've learned how to do it. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, thanks for supporting our channel and thanks for those of you that are subscribers and, and uh, you know, do support us. Um, our Amazon affiliate thing, we, we appreciate those of you that use that and uh, do look up some of this stuff. So anyway, anything that we can do to help out, that's what we're here for. And we just love this full-time life. And that's what, uh, we don't ever see this ending actually. So everyone's got an exit plan, we don't. And I guess something could happen, but uh, you know, we just love it. So it's a lot easier to take care of my motor home than it was to take care of our 5,000 square foot home that we had. That was a lot of work and this is really nice and I get to relax and retire and live the good life. So hopefully you're going to be doing the same thing or are doing that too. We'd love to see you down the road somewhere. And if not, then maybe we'll just see you on our next video. So take care.